<clears throat> Alrighty, so I am about to um, attempt the Hungry Spider level on Empire's uh, Undergrowth. Um, hopefully this audio isn't too bad because uh, I'm recording after the fact, the, the audio, but anyway. Um, this is a pretty damn hard level, it took me maybe six attempts to do it. There's not very many videos on YouTube or guides on, on how, how to do it and I was I was achievement hunting so this was my last achievement um, so yeah it took me about six six goes <laughs> but each time I did it I learned a little bit more um, so one of the biggest things one thing I will say is that play this level with your mouse as your you know to don't use the WASD keys for movement because one two three four keys are used for your abilities and it just makes it a little bit more difficult, um, you know, accidentally hitting the wrong button or or not being able to move properly if you're in a, in a bind. So if you use your mouse, it makes it a lot easier just click and, click and point. And then you can keep your fingers free for the for the abilities. Um, nearly die here, <laughs> um, which was a, a, a lucky level up saved me, but um, th this level is just so damn difficult. Uh, it's so easy to die. Most of this is pretty pretty easy initially it's just a matter of um you know planning out your route um you want to go you want to go and kill all the everything at this first chamber first um and just make your way through to the queens and the um you know it's it's not difficult now what the biggest problem is it's most of the level it, it might take you a few attempts to get to the wolf spider or to at least the spider chamber. The spider chamber is the most difficult part um, by a huge margin. Um, most of the other bosses can be fought relatively easy if you use a bit of you know cheesing and a bit of mechanics. Um, so you can see that all your you've got all your level your abilities. Then you can level them up. One of the things that will make this level a lot easier is leveling up your venom. Oh, not your venom. Yeah, your venom. As your primary damage dealer um, and the number three which is like a venom strike or whatever um, that slows enemies and, and increases the damage done by the venom so you use your, your venom pull as a as a you know aoe and then you slow your enemies down and they can't they can't catch you and you just keep pl planting um, the venom pulls on the ground your number one your bite is a pretty strong ability um, each time you level it up it gives you max health and does obviously more damage but um, for this and it really will increase the, the the rate in which you can clear the level because your bite you know you can you can one hit a lot of things if you spend all your points in it um, but you sort of the last boss the the spider will bite you once and it will poison you and you will be taken to i don't know a third health within like four seconds and if you get you again you're dead you know um <coughs> excuse me sorry about that um oh, what was i saying lost my train of thought yeah so <clears throat> uh therefore the bite really helps to clear the the, the level the, all of the other mobs but when it comes to the spider um you know you, you, he does so much damage and so quickly that it really makes it pretty difficult to beat him unless you're using the venom pool um, slowing him and using venom and just re rinsing repeat is really the the best and safest way because it, it takes about I don't know 30 minutes to get up to him and you can die you know within two three seconds if you if you if you haven't planned it out properly and it's pretty frustrating so <clears throat> I would recommend leveling your your number two, your venom venom pool, as sort of your prime. That's your primary damage dealer, and then you use your your three, um, your venom strike uh, later on to slow your enemies. But you sort of want to. Uh, oh, and number four is devour, so that's how you get your health back. And the more points you put into it, the, obviously the more health you get back. Um, I would probably recommend getting it to. I recommend getting it to level four, and then not spending any other points in it unless you have to. I.e. Um, uh, all the other ones are leveled but that probably I don't think that's the case I think I leveled it to four and I don't think I put any more points into it um, after that um, just because it's you know we want the damage and we want the slow and you know if you play safely and smart you shouldn't have to 
need to heal huge volumes of, of, of health at any one time. Um, so you'll see that obviously I've gone and killed the queens, now I'm going to this cricket. Um, this is just easy. See see, see that, that venom pool just, it just saps their health. So put your points into that. Probably primarily put your points into that f at least for three quarters of the game. Then after that start putting all your points into the venom strike. Um, and we will uh, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll, we'll come through here and then we'll go and we'll clear the rest of the ants. This this first part is really the most time consuming because you've got to run all the way. Um, no, that's the wrong way, mate. Um, <laughs> should know this by now. Um, we want to go down to the qu uh, to the queen chambers, which you can see that I'm heading to now. Um, and we're going to go clear out. But this is the most time-consuming part because all these just ant mobs are just they just they just take ages. Um, and then after this, after we go and clear this out, we'll go and clear the uber um, hermit crabs. They take a long time too because they heal. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. Uh, we'll just carry on playing until we get to the uh, the queens, and and the ants that come up here are um, they just the, the, the mortars or, or the rapid fire. Are they mortars or rapid fire? I can't remember. Mm. But they're annoying, and this is just the most annoying part: clearing this out. Just because of because of the I mean they don't do huge damage but you know when they when they all sort of when you get a, a, a few of them on you um, just take take chunk you down a bit but it's nothing to worry about um, and yeah so we just carry on so hopefully you can't hear the animals in the background birds parrots dogs barking wife complaining <laughs> I really should have muted the um, <clears throat> my audio when I was recording this. You can hear those clicks of the of the keyboard, but hopefully it's not too much of an issue. Now I think that if you just follow this guy, I mean, just just do kind of what I'm doing um, in terms of your level ups. Just chuck them into venom and uh, venom pool in the in the venom strike, um, and just you can just watch how how that venom pool just melts through the enemy. So. It's, it's really the most um, effective method to, to win this game. I mean, you can do it. It might be. It might. People might think it's a little bit more boring, um, as opposed to getting up the the bite and getting you know super strong with your bite. And and you can you can beat the level on it probably with the bite as your um, main damage. But uh, I just put another point into Venom Strike. Um, but you know. I was trying to get all the achievements and this was just the best way to do it because I tried so many times various other methods and then uh, it was just sort of it was very uh, disheartening I suppose um, because you spend you know 30 minutes getting up to the bo the the, um, the boss and then he poisons you and then you're dead and then that's it and then it's like Alt F4 <laughs> just Alt F4 uh, try again later go and watch some Obi-Wan or something and then jump back on afterwards and have a, have a look have a, have another attempt and then die then again and then die again um, and then so yeah I think it was I think I started attempting this maybe the day before yesterday so two days so I, Two days. I, uh, I mean, I've, I've done. I've attempted it. Maybe. Yeah, I think it was about six times. So, that was pretty quick, mate. I think. I don't know if anyone got a chance to see that, but see the levels. But it looked like bite was level one, venom was level seven, and so was the venom strike was level seven, maybe, and devour was level four. Again, I don't really recommend putting any points into devour. Unless it's um, unless it's forced upon you by, you know, as as games usually do, they will stop you from max maxing one ability until you've reached a certain threshold, you know. Um, so this by this point you will be eighteen if you've cleared every every mob out. 
Um, I will, I'll, there was there is one other strategy that, which you can do is by using leveling your bite and your venom. <coughs> sorry, leveling your bite and your venom um, up until you get because you can get. To, I think it's thirty eight at the end of the. By the time you beat the wolf spider, it should be level thirty eight, um, and the venom strike. I think the maximum level is thirteen. So if you level up until twenty five without spending any points in it. So you can, you know, put all your points into into Venom Pool and Bite, and then from level twenty five onwards, put all your points into um, into into the Venom Strike. Uh, I think that is, that's another option. It might make it a little bit more efficient or quicker, you know, <clears throat> because the the slow sort of whilst it is good. Um, you, you know, you putting your points into Bite, it gives you max max health. And so you you know you can take you can face check and tank uh, the enemies a lot a lot better. But you can see that venom pool does a lot of damage. You know it, it sort of it shreds through. And using the venom strike as well, uh, you know, like I said, increases the damage done by your venom pool. So using that in combination. And these are uh, hermit crabs are just annoying, just because they they don't do much damage, but they're just so tanky. And they take ages to kill and then they also heal which is which is annoying which bite really helps in that instance because whilst the venom is doing damage if you put points into your bite you can out damage their healing um but you know it's a trade-off i think uh because later on it's not as efficient using bite <clears throat> As you can see, I'm just trying to kite everything and, and pull them um, pull them together. Oh, got stuck there. And the what uh, the biggest piece of advice I can give you on this level is uh, just be patient. You know, initially that f at the beginning where I nearly died, that was a bit silly. I was recording and I thought I was the man because I'd done this so many times. But um, <clears throat> you know, be patient. Don't be silly. Don't rush it. Just take your time because when you die, it's just it's such an investment of your time, and dying is just so disheartening. So, and you can see I'm just um, kiting around the venom pool, just just doing damage to them with the venom passively, well, actively passive, I'm not using bite really until I get to the boss. Um, and this is where I just start start spamming. But you see, you know, that, that little hermit crab on the left that just, I didn't even attack it, it just died from the venom uh, so quickly, so. And like, you know, what you want to do when you're fighting these uber creatures is you want to pull up, you want to pull uh, all the creatures up in, into a, you know, a big clump and kill them over top of each other so that way when you're fighting and you're face checking, you can just, you, you periodically heal, you know, you can just take, take damage, flick around, heal up, as you'll see I'll do in a second. You know, just get some health. That was probably not a great eat because I, you know, I would have killed him anyway. So I probably didn't even need to heal then, and it slowed down the kill a little bit. But safe, be safe, be safe out there. One more hermit crab. Slow him down, and let the venom do its thing. See that healing? Ugh, so annoying. Um, just make sure also when you, um, <clears throat> you know, when you're running through areas, just go clear. Go clear everything. You might as well get you want to you want to end up with the most XP as you can, so that way when you come to the final boss, you've you've got maximum uh, maximum levels and level ups. I mean, it doesn't seem too significant missing one or two ants, but you know, uh, you're better off just killing everything before you attempt it. Uh, these guys here, these coach horses, they will um, disorientate you, confuse you, if you remember from the main game. Um, so you can easily cut their first ability. They will, the first thing they'll do is attack with the with the. Uh, with this the CC and you just just kite the attack or just uh, duke, 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 
juke the attack out and then just kill him. Pretty easy. See, that slow just, that's that's why the slow is effective, because you just slow them right down, um, and then they just take damage from your AoE, and it's, it's super easy. So you lift his tail up, easy. I think I might get hit here from memory. And so, I mean, it's not that bad, but the danger is, is that when you get confused, you run around like a madman. <laughs> cough you run around like a madman and you can easily end up um, pulling other mobs and then you know it's game over if you get three of those guys all confusing you at once one after each other um, it's easily t easy it's an easy wipe you know you can just you just wipe straight away and then you'll ult f4 and you go Ugh, I'm never doing this level again um, man of the ants I, there's a, a a, a channel I watch, Man of the Ants. He's he's attempted this multiple times, and I watched his guides for, or well, his his playthroughs for um, for for or for for insane difficulty on all the other levels. I don't know if he's done it yet, so I'm going to tag him in this, and hopefully, if anyone's watching this that watches his channel, channel, get him to uh get him to have a look at it and watch it, and he might be able to, hopefully, hopefully attempt it himself and finish it. Um, so yeah, this guy's pretty annoying because he's fast um, and he, he will confuse you for, for seconds at a time, you know, like 20 seconds at a time. No, probably not 20. I don't know how many seconds it is. We'll count when he, we, I know I get stunned once, so we'll see. So you just see him just slowing him, putting venom pool, and then just kiting him in, around the venom non-stop. And you see his health, I mean I haven't bit him once, but his health is already low, or well, half health. It's important here that, to, to, to run, use your slow, um, and eat, you know, when you when you, you get a chance to run past something that can heal you, just it's a free, you know, it's free, so just use it. Oh, I guess he didn't hit me once. I thought he did. That's my dog barking. Hopefully you can't hear it. Oh, that was easy hit. Oh, I thought he got me, but maybe it's the next boss. We'll see. Um, another bit of advice is that if you're struggling with any of the bosses, you can leave the bosses and go and clear all the other mobs first, get the levels, and then go back and attempt the boss. These guys are difficult, so th it's very important here that you kite these guys one at a, one at a time because they stun you for a, a number of seconds. And if you get two or three of them stunning you subsequently, or one after each other, then it's you know it's game over. So just you you really have to pick your battles, <clears throat> and you really have to. Um, sort of take things slowly and and try to fight the the, the creatures uh you know using your wits because um it's it's so easy just to just to wipe and just to die so use the slow use the venom pool cut them back and just melt them that way um it's just really the best way to, in my mind to do it so that was not too too good okay i'm just cutting around eat Boom. Missed that one with the slow, but that's alright. So now that's the slot that's the, the stun and the big guys stun you for longer and you know then they start ripping you to shreds. Once you get the mechanics down on the on the creatures though, it's it's, it's not too bad. As I said, it's just about being patient and and um planning it out and and sort of kiting using a lot of kiting And it's also about luck as well. I think, you know, where enemies are placed, or if you if you get, you know, enemies that rush you um, and you don't notice them, you know, because you come around that corner here, that's a blind corner, you can't really see what's behind there, and then you, and all of a sudden you got four or five enemies chasing you. I think in this one, I miss a slow somewhere, and although this is the second attempt of the morning, so maybe, I think I maybe I did this one a little bit better.
<clears throat> I mean, you'll see how, I mean, it's, they're not that dangerous, but you see how much damage you took off me, you know. Um, that's the, I guess that's the, um, the downfall of not taking bite, is that your maximum health is a lot lower. I mean, you get passive health, obviously, when you level up, but, um, but you, you, you can't take as much damage, and you've got to be a lot more careful playing this, in this, um, playing, uh, leveling in the way that I'm doing it. As you can see, it takes starting to take more points into Venom Strike because you really want by the end of it to have your Venom Strike maxed out. So you see how slow those those spiders move really quickly, and you really need them to to be slowed because they're faster. They're almost they're as fast or or as or faster than you most of the time. And so if they catch you, you're going to get poisoned and you're going to die. So and it's the same thing as before. Just going to lay down some. Some venom, let it slow them down and just kite them around. Uh, kite them around and, and, and take us out. It, you know, and strangely enough, um, these these other bosses actually have more health than the than the wolf spider at the end. Um, the wolf spider at the end is, is, was a, a much quicker fight than than these guys. Uh, You can face check these guys because they only stun you every I don't know, like 10 seconds or so so you can actually i could have probably just face checked them and just run off and healed and run back but just want to be safe and make sure i don't don't lose at this point don't die i'm just going to kite them So it's so much easier <clears throat> just make sure you again use your mouse it's just makes for movement it just makes it so much easier and you 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 know if you got fat fingers like me uh using wasd and then one two and three four it, i was always just messing up you know i was always having to look to make sure that i'm pushing the right buttons or and it just made especially with the slow method it just made it so much easier using the mouse key uh the mouse for movement so i would definitely recommend that you know a, 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 and and that makes it easy because you, can, you point at, you know if you if you point on a uh, creature and push four you'll just run over to it and eat it if you point at a creature and push one you'll run over to that creature and bite it you know just using wsd just it doesn't make sense in my mind sweet well that is basically it um i in the video here and i just, uh, start a new video for the wolf spider um, so I will see you in the next, uh, I think, oh, I think I'm going to make my way down to the, to the, uh, wolf. Uh, you know what? I need to go and, um, uh, clear off all the remaining enemies down there. Uh, just, I gain, you probably only gain a few XP, but it's, you may as well do it. You may as well do it. This cough is persistent. I've had, I got COVID about f three weeks ago, three weeks ago, I think. And this, I've had this persistent cough ever since. It's not really a cough, it's just like an irritation in the throat. Anyway, I'll clear out the rest of these enemies and then I will uh, see you in the next video.